cataractcoach.com. The pupil ring rips the lens capsule. How do you rescue this case? You can see that scroll from the Malugan ring ripping the capsule open. Now, our guest surgeon here is Dr. Adele Yarmo Hamadi from San Diego, California, USA. And so this is a complication that I've never seen. In fact, the beauty of cataract coach is you can learn from other people's complications. This is why I encourage you to submit your videos. So there, the capsule has been stained with tripan blue dye, viscoelastic has been placed inside the eye, lifting up the iris a little bit in preparation for placement of a Malugan ring. So let's see what happens. Now there's a lot of junk in the tear film, not the best job of draping that one side, but it's okay, that's not the point. Watch carefully. Here comes the Malugan ring. There's the leading scroll, goes into position. That looks great. The next scroll, look to the left. It slowly goes out and right there, boom, it snaps out, hits the lens capsule and rips it. Let me show you, it's slow motion. As it goes in, it's aimed a little bit too much towards the capsule and it rips the anterior lens capsule. Now, what do you do? Well, let's watch this doctor. She's going to show us how to res rescue this case. So let's, she's gonna take the whole thing out. Let me see, are we going to, or are you just gonna reposition it? So I'm watching this video for the first time with you as well. So she's gonna reposition. So there we go, I like that idea. So get that ring in position. Let's see the extent of the damage. Now, hopefully you can encompass that rip into your caps rex, maybe make your rex a little bit irregular in that quarter, but at least as, as long as it's continuous and curvilinear, and he doesn't have any weak edges, you should be okay, but let's watch. Again, here, you're really hindered by the poor visibility, and that's just because there's too much oil in the tear film. You need to get all that cleaned up. You shouldn't be floating in all this oil. It ruins your visibility, it ruins your view. So let's see what happens here. So, looks like the patient's under top anesthesia as well. More viscoelastic, I like that idea, that's smart. Filling up the anterior chamber more, and there's that rip. Again, I wish someone would just get a lot of BSS and just hose all that oil off the tear film. Come on, it makes such a better view. So now, is it ripped all the way out to the zonular support? That's the question. And if it is, that's gonna make it more challenging. Or can orexa still be accomplished here? So let's see, I'd want to grab that capsule and try the little maneuver to see if it can be brought in. So you don't want to have those weak edges. So let's see what's going on instead. So here is, so Cisitome trying to go the other direction to get a Rex is going the other way and trying to pull that over. I don't know if that's going to be successful. So instead, let's see what's going to happen next. So still trying the same thing. If you try it more than three times and it's not working, I'd move on. I'd try something different. So one of the beauties, again, is that in the old days when you didn't have all these videos, you'd have to learn just by doing. And so you couldn't learn so well from others. But now you can learn from this. So if you ever encounter this, now you know how to, to handle it. So that's, I like this idea of pushing the ring around to really see how far this has radialized. And it does look like it's ripped out pretty far. So what I do here is I try to do, again, that little maneuver if you can. If not, we still need to finish opening up this capsule. So we want to see if there are, you know, any weak edges here. If there are, we need to try to convert them into a curvilinear shape or maybe just finish the rex of the other direction. And I think that's what's gonna happen here. So micro scissors going in the eye. So micro scissors coming up. And you can go distal uh, past that break, cut the capsule and then finish the rest of the rexus. And then just be super cautious because you know you have that one weak area. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Micro scissors going inside the eye. And what is going on? There are the scissors. Those are for scissors for sure. Those aren't forceps. And what's going to be cut? I know you're, you're like me. I'm waiting for it too. So, okay, that's what I thought. So going past that cut, uh, the, the rip out area, making a cut in the capsule. That's great. And you can grab that cut area and that will make a flap and do a clockwise capsule exit for the remaining, you know, 10 clock hours. So that's a, I like that idea. That's reasonable. So there are the capsule rexus forceps. And I'm probably going to go clockwise here. There you go. Beautiful. Very nice. Try to keep that eye in primary. 
There you go. Better job. Good, good, good. Get that eye back in primary. Now, remember, complications can't be avoided. The only two surgeons who never have complications are those who don't operate and those who lie about it. So if you operate, you're going to have complications. So the key is to be like this doctor, Dr. Adelaide, and recover from the complications. And that's the important thing. Now, what is the reason? Who can you blame for the complication? Well, you can blame no one, actually. Sure, part of it may have been technique. Part of it may have been the device. Part of it may have been the patient's weaker anatomy. You don't know. The blame game is useless. That doesn't help anyone. Instead, figure out, all right, how do we recover from this and move on and successfully complete the case? Now, I'll tell you, this case will go beautifully at this point as long as you're careful not to uh, put any pressure on that one run-out area. And that little extra tab or, or flap of capsule tissue at the end, you can certainly cut that out as well using those same micro scissors. So another good example of, do you really need the, the, cap, the uh, pupil expansion ring? I don't often use it because, remember, it's not a benign device. It has a cost, obviously, is one thing. But it has potential risks as well, and that you just witnessed. And even in the best-case scenario, it can still cause iatrogenic damage to the iris, the pupil margin. So here we go. Now it's time for some FACO. Oh, but before that, I like it. Using those micro scissors again, I'm going to cut that capsule tag, and it'll be good. So it'll look normal, and you... You gotta keep in mind though, you can't operate 100% normal because that one area right where she's cutting is radialized right out to the zonules. And if you put too much pressure on the capsule bag, you may get that going around to the poster capsule. Fortunately, I'll tell you, at the end of this case, which I'll, I'll save you from watching, the patient does great. She's able to take out the whole cataract and even put in a multifocal lens in the capsule bag, a single piece acrylic lens, and it goes great. So beautiful job, great save, Dr. Adele. Thank you for submitting your video.